My name's Andy Tanner, I'm the Managing Director of Plug Into The Sun and this is 250 kilowatts of solar PV. I should like to welcome you here to Chapel Anvil. My name is Andrew Hawkey and my family have farmed here for four generations. It's an old fashioned, traditional family farm with beef, sheep and arable. We realized at one stage that we may have to diversify and all our old farm buildings were converted into self-catering holiday lets. We've an indoor swimming pool, sauna, jacuzzi, loads of things for children to do. It's a lovely unspoiled area here, just off the North Cornish coast. Here at the old house, we realized that we would have to do something to offset our crippling energy costs. And it was last year at the Royal Cornwall Show that we first went by the renewable energy tent and that stimulated a bit of interest in my sons. And we've spent six months now researching, looking around, finding what's available. One or two changes of rules with the government. But in the end, we have put up 250 kilowatts of solar panels. And we hope that that's going to be a big help in keeping our business costs lower than they might be in the future. This is a project here that we financed ourselves. We've tried to use everybody locally. Plug Into The Sun have been our main contractors. Western Power have been a big help. And Cornwall County Council and our local council department have absolutely fallen over themselves to help us. My two sons have taken a very active part in the negotiations, the preparations and everything that we've been doing for the last nine months. And here on site, they've been working from dawn to dark every day to just make sure that this project finishes on time. Hello, my name is Sean Hawkey from the old house here in Chapel Amble. Uh, thanks to the government's feeding tariff, we've been able to install this 250 kilowatt PV array. So this installation will feed straight into our existing fuse box to be used here on site in the swimming pool and all the cottages. Uh, it will supply the whole site and the farm and then any surplus will then be sold back onto the national grid to be used by the wider public. To keep the cost down on this project, we've all tried to be involved, trying to do as much as we can ourselves, so we keep it all in-house to save as much money as we can. The panels are on, everything's up and running, so this is looking really nice now. We are sheep farmers here, and there has been some discussion in the media about whether the land would be lost to farming or not, but I'm absolutely certain now that I see these panels up, that in the winter when we're lambing, our little lambs are gonna love it sheltered under these panels. And there's masses of area that will still be available for grazing exactly the same as before. One of the things that we've also done on the farm is that we've been involved with Natural England and we belong to their higher level scheme, which means that this whole farm is open to the general public. You can come here, you can walk around, you can look at everything. Once a week on Wednesday nights, I give a farm tour for everybody who's here on holiday. These panels now will, will be a key part of that tour. You'll be able to come out and have a look at these panels. You can touch them. Sean and Oliver can tell you how it works. You'll be able to go in the inverter house. You can have a full tour of everything if that's what you're interested in. The 250 kilowatt array will produce 250,000 kilowatt hours, which is roughly the same as about 80 average homes would use in a year. This will offset approximately 120 tonnes of carbon dioxide. Plug in the Sun have undertaken over 400 installs, including Cornwall Council's roof, the New County Hall, Trellis Hospital, the Combined Universities of the Cornwall site, hundreds of domestic properties, lots of commercial ones, and this is our largest field scale project. So this is a unique system in Cornwall, A, because of its size, B, because of who's funded it, and C, because of the energy being consumed is actually being used on site. Here comes the 